we're getting a little bit of reprieve from the really hot and dry weather, thankfully, for the last two weeks. The forecast highs are in the low 90s and they're forecasted to go even lower uh, into the upper 70s, which would be great for this grass to recover from the stress that we've had. A lot, of, a lot of issues have really showed up in our lawns lately. We have, you know, some diseases, we have some root pathogens, we even had some grub feeding that we may not have seen earlier on because we had that, that moisture that really you know, hit a lot of those diseases and that root stress because it was just so cool. So now it's hot and dry and we're seeing these, these issues and unfortunately it's not something we can easy, easily just diagnose. Uh, we have spots like this behind me and you can see some lesions on them, uh, on the leaves, but I can't just look at them visually and really figure out what's going on. Uh, so if you have some spots in your lawn that you're struggling with, consider sending a sample to our disease diagnostic lab to figure out what type of issue it is, if it's a fungi, if it's a, a root issue, or maybe some kind of abiotic stress like mowing across drought stress turf and having you know the tire track show up a couple days later. And so we wanna make sure we have the right disease before we go out with a, a particular fungicide uh, for some kind of control because it may, not, may be inappropriate to put down a fungicide if it's not the particular disease you think it is. From the professional side, we're using this cool weather to really get caught up on cultural practices, things like vertical mowing and top dressing of our, of our greens, putting down some fertility to promote recovery from that stressful period we just entered, uh, uh, is, is really going to help to keep our grass healthy throughout this summer, especially if we return back to that hot and dry. So take this weather that we have now, use it to our advantage, and uh, you know, get caught up on those really essential cultural practices uh, on that golf and sports turf.